the land of fjords, islands on the Norwegian Sea. The greenest mountains and most cinematic hikes. Countless rainbows coloring the sky. The place of escape from civilization. The only detectable sound is your own heartbeat. It was time to move and explore the Futen. We had the most stunning view from that spot, but it's a bit strange because the cars are passing by very quickly and we just, we are literally camping. I never knew Norway was quite known for Arctic surf. Still, the prices were the most shocking of all. With high expectations for the Futen, since it's the most popular area in the north of Norway. The place was stunning and yet... We came to this beach hoping there wouldn't be any people only to find out that it's a very popular spot. The houses in Lofoten always blended so well with the surrounding. The mountains in Lofoten are truly breathtaking. Usually the climb was short but steep. The view from the top stole our breath each and every time. I will never forget our night drives while searching for a place to sleep. Tell her that all the parkings around this area are not free and you have to pay for them only by cash and we don't have any cash. All the beaches in Norway are surrounded by mountains and when it's cold, by fog. This creates a very dreamy scenery. The sound of seagulls broke us out of the quiet haze that we were in all morning. The weather for us, apparently it's not raining, but in real life it is raining. So you never know what's going to happen. You have to be prepared for everything and have clothes for literally every occasion. Besides animals like birds and wolves, you can meet cats during your hikes in Norway. The weather conditions were yet again unforgiving. Rainy, foggy, and above all, windy. After around two kilometers, we reached this beach. It was spectacular from above, and even more when you went down. I don't think the weather conditions ever allow you to swim there and not be cold. After all, the Arctic Circle is far from offering you warm weather. Some may think that the sun is necessary to enjoy the view. In no way it's not the case. The mountains always look breathtaking. The same day we rented a small cabin in Hemney. When we saw the view from the window, we stopped in our tracks. Kasia obviously had to end up being attacked by drone before our dinner. Yesterday I was literally sitting on a rock and I was just like, this is too much, we have to warm up. We rented this small wooden cabin, but only for one night. It was a bit more on a pricey side. Obviously, you mostly pay for the view. Next day, the clouds were covering the sky all morning. The red houses contrasted with the darkness that surrounded us. We were walking on the street and we saw randomly a sign that said, oh, antique store. And we we're like, okay, let's check. Chinese porcelain from Lufuten. This construction is used for drying cots during the season. It's a traditional food. Reina in general, it's pretty spectacular, but in my opinion, it's very similar to another village very close to Reina. The place was absolutely stunning. If you wish to get the taste of Scandinavia, you should visit it. Later, we drove further south. Unfortunately, the path was not well prepared and we were drowning in mud. Yet hiking next to the fjord, surrounded by clouds and thick fog, felt so serene. The one singular house in the middle of nowhere sparked our curiosity. The entire hike felt like out of this world. 
the murky atmosphere and challenges that we encountered were surreal. It was time to leave all and go to Barre. The ferry from O to Barre is free and it only took around two hours. There are only 700 citizens and there's only one parking lot, so if you want to stay there, you have fresh water, you have toilets. Yeah, there are no real campings on this island because it's that small. The next day in Vare, we went on a hike. We chose not a popular track and halfway through, regretted that decision because of the loose ropes. A lot of loose rocks, so it was very easy to just slip and fall. The day was yet again foggy and the mist was lightly caressing our faces while we were at the top. From time to time we could see the entire island peeking from behind the clouds. The entire landscape was dreamlike. It all looked peaceful and quiet. The hike took us a few hours and the entire time we were walking, dancing and enjoying the view to the fullest. I can totally understand why people love Vare so much. It is so different from other places in Lofoten. The roughness of the nature there is spectacular. The clouds were slowly overflowing the mountains. It was getting slightly darker, but here and there, the sun enlightened our road along the coast. Barrow is a tiny island in the middle of the Norwegian Sea. It has a lot to offer, like spectacular hikes, cinematic roads, or the never-ending sea. We had seen one of the most beautiful sunsets there. Next day's hike allowed us to see the blue hint of the water and the town below us. All the hikes in Baroy are short and relatively easy. The view is absolutely fantastic on this side, but on this side, not so much anymore. From the top you can see the entire island surrounded by water. The wind was always very strong, that caused the clouds to constantly fluctuate. The most popular part of this island was located right next to the military area. From the rock we could see the steep mountains below us, white beaches and crystal clear sea. I had never seen mountains so steep and sharp around the edges. From time to time they completely covered our view, but when the sky finally cleared the view was simply unbeatable. We call those sunspots on the sea Stairway to Heaven. In the 90s, they had an airport and currently we sleep on that airport. There was a huge disaster, like an airplane just crashed because of the very strong wind. Now the only way to visit this island is by taking a ferry. At the end, we're skipping down the mountain. For three days, we could cook with a view this breathtaking. <laughs> the sun was painting the sky purple and pink. The entire area was slightly highlighted by it. Next day it was time to leave. Not surprisingly, we memorized the entire island. The sun came out and we could watch the land disappearing as we wandered further towards the mainland. Again, this ferry was also free. From the highway we saw the most gorgeous rainbow. We couldn't get enough of this view. After so many days constantly in clouds, we saw clear sky. Swimming in river while it's raining, should be on everyone's bucket list. Some sunsets are just not meant to be simply seen, but admired. They just make everything look so majestic and magnetic. The 
surface of the water reflecting pink and orange colors. Even the road looked like it was painted by the sunset. We went to this national park. Small streams were crossing with a path. One may say that only the destination matters, but at the end of the day, the hike was equally as stunning as the end point. After a short hike, we reached the highest waterfall in Norway. The water in the lake was crystal clear, sunlightly reflecting its surface. During this trip, many times we couldn't believe our sight. This was one of these moments. Just when I thought we couldn't be more surprised during this trip, The pure power of the flowing water was overwhelming. The sun was setting and the air turned moist. We slept next to this river and decided to drive south. The snow was still visible when we crossed the Arctic Circle again after almost two weeks. Our plan was to see the glacier in another national park in the jungle. We lost our path, but the vision had changed as we ventured a bit further. We decided to come back since it was nearly impossible to go any further. The path is completely unprepared for any tourists. This is the main path to the glaciers. Our morning view made us feel like we never really woke up from our dreamscape. The sun was so delicate and the water so very clear. We crossed the border with Sweden the mountain slowly turned into lakes. We decided to sleep there and start a bonfire and later, at night, swim in the freezing cold lake. Fire was the first luxury we had during the trip. The water was reflecting all the colors. This lake was surprisingly deep. I couldn't even dream of reaching the bottom. Kasia started this fire from the branches found in the nearby forest. It took a while, but it was so comforting after swimming in this cold water. We sat there until it was completely dark and the bonfire was the only thing that we could see or hear. Unfortunately, we could see the end of white nights and the beginning of fall. Camping inside that house was not allowed, but obviously you can just go and enjoy the fire. National parks in Sweden always have places for making a bonfire. Although Sweden is way flatter than Norway, we still enjoyed our short hike. Jumping over puddles of water was the theme of this trip. The path in the forest had led us to nowhere and the full moon brightened our night. On our last day in Scandinavia, we visited this waterfall. It was time to board the ferry back home from Trelleborg to Germany. Scandinavia was one of the most beautiful places we had ever seen and definitely will be returning there in the near future. But this adventure had come to its end.